Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today, I'm going to give you five reasons why I love zombies. Whether or not it's because I just ranted about World War II multiplayer and the multiplayer in general, I really start to understand and recognize why I love zombies so freaking much. So let's start here with one of the reasons is that it's challenging, but not so much that it's super punishing but it's also not too easy. It's a really good Goldilocks zone of challenge and difficulty. And of course, I am looking at the entire span of the Zombies games. Maps like Kino could be seen as too easy, maps like Transit could be seen as too hard, that sort of thing. But in general, a good Zombies map is rewarding, somewhat punishing, not too punishing, but also very fun and challenging. This is something like a Shadows of Evil. You know, there's a challenge. You know, you gotta do these rituals. You gotta know your stuff, do your things, and, and all that sort of stuff. It can be very difficult to survive when you're first learning zombies, but it's really, really nice. And it's a good sense of accomplishment when you do open up Pack-a-Punch on Shadows of Evil. That leads me to my second reason why I love zombies, and that is the learning curve. Shadows of Evil is a brilliant example. Same thing with Mob of the Dead, but Perhaps the best example of a good learning curve is going to be Origins. Like, this is something, this is one of the main reasons why people love Origins. Because when you first play Origins, even if you know everything about Origins, you're going to learn how to be more efficient. You're going to learn how to do things uh, with more efficiency, you know, with less time traveled and, and faster and better. This is why speedrunning Origins is the thing. This is why Origins is such a good map because there's so much to the map that you can do what you want however efficiently that you want. The more you learn, the more you play, the better, the faster, the more, the more efficient that you get. And it's not just origins, and it's not just about like building staffs or anything. This has to do with boss zombies as well. It's another good example. The Panzer under Eisendraha used to give me a lot of trouble. I used to get very nervous when the Panzer came in. However, I've learned, I've grown, I've gotten better myself, and I have a better understanding, and I'm more well equipped, uh, both in my knowledge and my skills, to deal with the Panzer. You can take this idea and concept and take it to the concept of training zombies. I used to suck so much at training zombies, but now my reaction time is better. My gauge for how which gaps I can shoot are better. You know, this the mentality that I have for training, how to train, how to get out of situations, how to maneuver the zombies, how to do certain things with the zombies has gotten better. The game itself rewards you. That is awesome. My number three reason is that it is so replayable. It's awesome. And to be honest, if Zombies wasn't in Infinite Warfare, I don't know if I would ever go back and play Infinite Warfare, at least for more than a couple games. But because there is an entire Zombies content and season on there, I am forever going to return to that. I've been itching to play some Raven of the Redwoods. I've been itching to play some Attack of the Radioactive thing. And I've been contemplating whether or not I should try Shaolin Shuffle again. Oh, those ninja zombies are awful. Uh, but because the zombie mode is on there, it makes that game replayable just because it has zombies. Same thing with World War II. World War II, I was like, I don't know if I want to do anything. I don't know. It was the other day. I had my day off. And I was like, I don't know what I want to do. I had my videos done for the day. I couldn't record anymore. So I was like, let's just play some Final Reich. Or let's just play some Darkest Shore. You know, that's that's an awesome thing to have in your game. I love how replayable this game mode is. And I'm still playing maps like Kino and Moon that were released in Black Ops 1, however many years ago that was. And that's honestly a really good thing, especially right before Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 could tank. It could be the worst zombies experience we've ever had. And honestly, I don't know how much the game would suffer because we have Black Ops 3 zombies. Black Ops 3 zombies is the best zombies experience we've ever had. You know, there's some mechanics that people don't like, uh, but that's really personal preference. But in my opinion, I will always have Black Ops 3 Zombies, and three years after its release, I'm still playing it, I'm still making relevant videos on it, and we're all still enjoying it, and it's an awesome, awesome game. The replayability is fantastic with Zombies. Number four reason is 
just the overall kind of basic stuff. It's a fun experience. The storyline is fun. The story beats are fun. The mechanics are fun. For example, Wonder Weapons, super fun. The, the gauntlet on Gorod Krovi is super fun. The bows under Eisendraha are super fun. Getting the process of getting the Tesla gun on World War II, the Final Reich, is fun. And pretty much everything about Zombies in Spaceland can be seen as fun. Well, except for a couple of minor, minor things here and there. Uh, but yeah, there's just those small little events that are happening. You know, blowing up the moon from Der Eisendraha, that's fun. That's an experience. That's something that's cool that you can experience. You know, doing the Easter eggs, that's a fun experience to have. It's the basic gamey stuff that makes this game mode and, and pretty much all video games in general fun because it rewards you and it gives you these nice little kind of dopamine doses that make you enjoy the experience that you're experiencing. I don't know where to put this, so I'm going to put this at like 4B, and that's going to be Zombies Chronicles. And just every time I think about this game, every time I think about Black Ops 3 and the innovation that it had, and just how much went into Black Ops 3 in refining it and innovating it at the same time, that just blows my mind. It truly does blow my mind. We have a new zombie health system, or I guess maybe not a health system, but a new zombie AI system. We have a three hit down system. We have new knifing mechanics. Those are mechanics that have been in Call of Duty Zombies for all these years, yet they've tweaked them ever so slightly in Black Ops 3 to refine them and to, to make them more uh, difficult in some ways and more forgiving in other ways and it's fantastic but now we have double pack a punch you know as innovation we have these specialists we have gobble gums we have weapon case we have so much innovation and so much fun stuff and in that zombies content all of the black ops 3 maps starting with shadows of evil to eyes and drama zetsabel gorak Curry, revelations they are packed to the brim of content of those experiences of that replayability of that challenge and that refinement and that balance that that content, that DLC season of Black Ops 3 is absolutely mind-blowingly awesome. And I don't know how they're going to top it, but it's awesome that we have that Zombies content. That alone made Black Ops 3 the best Zombies maps ever, you know, zombie game ever. But then, they just dropped eight, eight maps, eight completely remastered maps with the new Samantha Easter Egg. And one of those maps was freaking Origins and Moon. You know, those are experiences. These are whole new... That could have been a whole new game. And it's just like, we do not deserve that. Like, truly. Like, I know it's games and, you know, Activision is evil and, they, and they're after money. But that, man, it's still... It's just like, you look at the love and the true passion that the Zombies team has to redo old maps. Eight! Maps, eight maps, it blows my mind to this day. It should not have happened, and it only happened because of how passionate this community is and how passionate the developers are for this community and for this game mode. And so I just, I love it, you know, because I can play Origins now on a really good game on a three hit down system with gobble gums and double pack a punch. You know, I can play um, Moon with double pack a punch, I can play Kino with double pack a punch because honestly, I don't know if I would like Kino in the Black Ops 1 days. It's it's a nice map. I like it. You know, that's a whole rant for another day. But because it has double pack punch, because it has gobble gums, it just makes it more fun and more interesting. And it's just Zombies Chronicles is just so amazing. And and Black Ops 3, the default maps are so great. The DLC maps are great. Like it's just so great. It's such a great game. I love it. But finally, moving on to the number one reason why I love zombies is because it's based 100% well, it should be based 100% on your own skill level. That's the goal, at least. That's the goal of every Zombies map. Jason Blondell said it himself. His goal, their goal as the developers, is to create a map, create an experience where the player blames themselves for their downfall. You know, if the players are saying, oh, well, this boss is too powerful or this mechanic is too powerful, then they haven't done their job correctly. And th then they know that. They base their game around that. And to, to play a game where good players are rewarded and to play a game where your own skill is rewarded is refreshing, especially after the Call of Duty multiplayer rant that I just went on. I recently failed the Gorod Krovi Easter egg and in that in that live stream I was really salty and that's that's normal. That's nothing out of the ordinary. Super salty about it, but 
something about the essence of zombies says, but I can do better. But wait, I can make this, I can make this happen, you know, you know, there's something, it may be a broken mechanic, it may be a poorly designed challenge, but there's just something about the zombies uh, game mode that just makes me feel like I have the power to overcome this challenge, you know, they throw these things at you to challenge you, not to, not to punish you, not to say, oh no, you can't be having that much fun. But to challenge you to say how are you going to overcome this challenge what are you going to do when we throw this at you and i adore that and i love that about the zombies community and the zombies game mode as a whole so if you like multiplayer on this channel and you're not sure about zombies you've come to the right place because i've got zombies 101 the best place for a new zombies player to learn everything about zombies and to get better at zombies at least i'd like to think so but anyway those are the five reasons why i absolutely love zombies if you've made it this far into the video please leave a like and let me know why you love zombies in the comment section below what is it that is so addicting is it the easter eggs is it the high rounds is it the strategy is it the pace is it the experience is it the storyline let me know in the comment section below what are you excited for in black ops 4 how are they ever going to top black ops 3 i have no freaking clue but anyway that's all I have time for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next absolutely beautiful zombies morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.